Question for you. Yes. When I was uh, the following car behind the instructor, I was staying pretty close with him. Okay. But when I was the third car, I was like lagging behind. Okay. Is that common? It is. Because it's easier to reference someone who knows what they're doing as yeah. opposed to a fellow student who might be new to it. Right. So it's it's yeah, it's a lot different gauging that. So that's kind of typical. Yeah, it's gonna, it happens, yeah. It happens all the time. It's Unless you kind of relax a little bit too because... Exactly, because it's like the pressure's not on, like yeah, let's go. Right, right. Yeah. Well and then I put the pressure on because I, yeah. man, I'm lagging behind you. Right. <laughs> I try and speed and up. And that's again. okay, we much rather yeah. you guys back it off when yeah. you're not behind the lead car. Yeah. You know, just work on you. Work yeah. on your line, right. looking right. at the track. That's okay. If you're right. behind us, by all means, let's pick it up, you know? Right, right. Yeah, that's fine. So, when we're out here, we're not out here to set, you know, track lap record. Right. Um, watch where I'm placing the car on the racetrack. Right. Um, get a feel for my brakes. You know, how am I applying that firm brake pressure? Yeah. Okay. Overall, the experience should be smooth for what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll cover the shift points with you so you have an idea of where I'm doing that. Right. You'll notice I'm going to be applying these sets of the corner. Vision is scanning through the corners yep. and the braking, shifting, balancing. Flipping my apex, I'm winding out and then accelerating. So I'll call that out. Okay. Okay. Liking it so far though? I love it. Sweet. Yeah, I found myself uh, um, a little messy with the brakes. Okay, yeah. So it's, yeah, the way we work on the track is so different from the street. So yeah. it, it's a huge adjustment to understand how yeah. we're getting you know to the brakes now. Right. Um, so it's probably the hardest thing to grasp overall, you know, in this industry, mm -hmm. is the proper brake technique. Mm -hmm. So we'll just give a little bit of spacing, and then we'll take off. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally the opposite on the track. It is. You yeah. Be firm. Firm. Yeah, really, and really hard. And firm. Yeah. Firm. Yep. Yeah, there's, yeah, I just, 
kind of just getting in, in, into the corner a little deep. Yeah. So yeah. So, so there was just, just yeah, like, little, like this little flick. Small. Yeah. And that's okay. The thing is, I, I want the car to rotate a little bit, but I yeah. don't want to overdo it. Right. There's times where like, oh, that's a little too much rotation. Right. Because okay. right. I do want some rotation to kind of help get the car to help rotate. Yeah. Um, and it's more of a slip angle. But if I'm overdoing it, I'm going to be overslowing the car. Right. Because then I'm chasing right. it. Right. And yeah, it was just a couple times. You got to feel for the brakes, right? Yeah. Yeah, you are definitely aggressive on the brakes. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and it's more so because I'm trying to slow it down early enough so I can yeah. tell myself, like, okay, that's enough slowing down. That's comfortable speed for this corner. Let's start to release it. Yeah. I don't want to think about that when I get to the turning cone. Right. Because then right. at that point, it's like, hey, it's way too late. I think I was only doing, like,